today we'll be looking at, uh, I don't know the exact name you would call this, but, um, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make a grid kind of on top, not exactly a grid, but you're gonna make it look kind of pixels and everything. Alright, so let's get started. This is just something I whipped up in Photoshop. Um, you guys can do better. I mean, I just added the background. I I could teach you how I made that background, but I'll save that for another tutorial. So, what you want to do is um, open up your images, pictures, and find an image with a transparent background if you want to, that you want to make. Well, actually, yeah, um, transparent background you'll you will need in this, so you know, so you can it can know what to pick to do with that layer because if you have a whole full layer then it it'll you could do it for a full layer without no transparent but I like doing it tr for transparent background pictures so alright let me I'll go find a quick one we'll do this one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up you can view it in to a hundred percent and so, if you want to, um, I'll quickly make the background for you guys. Alright, so, I'll just say it out. Alright, so what I did was, I have my color right here. You can choose any color you want. And then, I took my paintbrush and made it bigger. And then, quickly colored it. And, and I went up to Filter, Artistic, Sponge. I always enjoy the sponge and my settings are you know brush size 5, definition 25, smoothness 1 that's what I did and then you got this all that and then what I did was what did I do? oh yeah I went up here I think it was water paper yeah water paper it's under sketch you just use water paper and then it's like this, and I gotta view in more, too. All right, this is a hundred percent. So we'll just kind of play around with this right here. See how? See the background? What I did now was view out first, and then go take the burn tool, um, exposure fifty percent, range mid tones. Then yeah, we're gonna have to make this bigger. Then burn it. And you you know until you got that. But that's pretty much how I made that background. All right, so let's view on back in. There we go. So enough with the background. Let's um actually get to what we're what we need to do in this tutorial. Dang it. Sorry about that, guys. Right, that's gonna make it. Oh, crap. Alright, sorry about that. So, now what we're really gonna do is um, take our layer with the character we want to do that effect on. Basically, you can right click and duplicate the layer. See? Oops, I double clicked there. Or you can go up here to layer, duplicate layer. I need to be back in. Then, with then you select your duplicated layer, not the first one, the second one. You go up to filter, texture, texture and patchwork. All right, be sure to click patchwork. Once you got that up, you see this. It's all pixel, you know, kind of like eh. And it's patchwork. Square size one, relief zero. So. So just one and zero, and then click OK, and you got this, you know, uh, the same exact thing. What you do is you go up here to this thing, and, uh, and then you're going to go to hard light, and basically you got that, and that's basically how you do that effect, and it looks, it makes it look pretty nicely, especially with the background and everything. I'll view out so you guys can get a bigger picture of it. So basically that's how it looks. If I view in, it looks better because then you can actually see the lines in it. 
So this was just a quick little tutorial in uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2.